Thank you. So that's the level yeah, of the gradient. Huh? Okay, this is a survey campus that is used to measure the vertical angles between points. Like a bridge or something? Yeah, and it is usually used in tunnel. Yeah. Thanks, thank you. Survey campus. This is automatic from the second level. We've equipped 15 centers of excellence in different parts of this country with some of the most modern test facilities that test and measure the quality of asphalt, materials like metals, cement, and all other kinds of material that is used in the construction sector, including soil analysis. This is with a view of being able to promote the highest level of training to standards. And these standards then ensure not only the sustainability, but the innovation and the safety of any project that we do in the country. As we launch the Centre of Excellence today, the Nyeri National Polytechnic will be working closely with the industry, creating a nexus between the MSME and the large-scale industry, construction industry, and this institution, with a view of ensuring that we have the following outcomes, that we're not only able to promote skills development, but also continuous professional development that we're able to certify prior experience, thereby ensuring that people with experience are, have a chance to be recognized for their qualifications and skills and competencies. But as a center of excellence, we'll also be involved in the policy environment. We'll play a role in ensuring that we promote technology transfer, building capacity as far as extension services for standards testing, so that our 15 centers of excellence throughout this country can be accessible by the construction industry to t test their bitumen, their materials, their blocks, etc., and so on, to adequately promote the necessary safety and capacity. But all of this will inculcate quality and relevance for our youth. And in addition to that, in order to address access and equity, not only are we building these institutions throughout the country, but we're facilitating these institutions with adequate capitation worth. 5.2 billion to support 200,000 students in training another, and another 4 billion Kenya shillings to support another, another 100,000 students as far as the Higher Education Loans Board is concerned. So it's all this concerted effort and collective effort that we hope to participate and ensure that our construction industry is just as competitive and that the basis of our development are the technical vocational training institutions powering the economy with adequately relevant skills and competencies that are able to be not only productive but also innovative and ensuring that we are able to address their livelihoods and their opportunities towards self-employment and gainful employment. We have seen the good work that they have done in building capacity in our institutions. Not only have they provided the equipment, which is very advanced and state-of-the-art, but they've also provided the training for operators and the further training to ensure that we master the skills and competencies to standards. Now this relationship we hope will now move into another phase where we will seek uh, their involvement in assessment, assessing the standards so that the trainings that we conduct are not assessed using theoretical approaches but practical approaches. That way we're able to ensure that a level one artisan in road building has a certain number of qualifications and competencies. And this, this capacity requires assessment centers. We're hoping to be involved and we're looking into a new project for assessment centers, the possibility that we equip our existing institutions. But this is not finalized, it's simply being discussed and uh, thought about as strategically what we'd like to do in the next phase. We very much also appreciate the fact that they've linked us to their own TIVIT institutions 
in China so that even going forward, institutions like the Nyeri National Polytechnic will collaborate with uh, other institutions to improve their governance, their quality assurance, their training skills, and probably do joint projects and research. So there's a plenty of avenue and plenty of support that we hope to fully utilize as we go forward. Uh, we are excited to become a center of excellence in building and civil engineering. And uh, as I gave my speech, I indicated that uh, we are not just going to use the facilities for our own training, but we want to involve the community. We want to support the, the Juakari sector. We also want to work in collaboration with the vocational training centers. We shall even allow them to come over and use the equipment so that they can sharpen their skills. So as a polytechnic, we are very excited and we are very grateful to the government now that we have the state of art equipment and even our trainers have been trained on how to use the equipment.